This is Daniel Poppy, host of How to Write Good. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Baxter Colburn, host of What's the Score? The Sports News Quiz here on Public House Media. Thanks for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, What's the Score? The Sports News Quiz, the show that puts contestants to the test with their sports knowledge from the past week's news. Myself, Game Master Josh Shibe, and different panelists are on every single episode. The show comes out bi-monthly, so don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of What's the Score? The Sports News Quiz. And if you want to be a contestant, visit our website, WTSSportsQuiz.com. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. How's it going, everybody? Hey, guys. Coffee with Keith. And Katie on Public House Media. And we are coming at you from the second Starbucks. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't have come five minutes ago. Um, no. Coming at you from the second Starbucks of our uh, tour of coffee shops around Chicago. We have our coffee with us. Hope we have your coffee with you. And um, we both spilled our coffee before the show began. Yep. Um, it the, seems to be a trend it for seems our. To be, it seems to be a trend for our, our live tour. coffee things. Yeah. Uh, our tour through coffee neighborhood shops includes spill. Maybe we should add that to our ratings. How epic was the spill today? Maybe. Today. I don't want to just spill coffee for the heck of it, though. No, but if we do spill coffee, which we seem to, I would say the most epic was. The first one. When I spilled the coffee all over, over my pants. Head. All, all over, over pants, my pants. Your yep. coat. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. And we're keeping our heads together. Because there's um, a light that's really annoying. Because there's a light just right, it's right there. Yeah. Um, and, and we're uh, adorable. And we like course, to be David's with each other. David's watching. David, thanks for Hi, joining David. us. Hi, David. Where we were you? you? We missed you. We missed you on Friday. Mm-hmm. Tell but, us where you were. <laughs> but thanks for joining us. Um, we're at the uh, second Starbucks. This was our first um, like regular place mm-hmm. that we uh, that we went to when we moved to Chicago, that which was well, heck, about six and a half years ago by now. Uh, this is kind of in our old neighborhood. Our old neighborhood is not terribly far away from our new neighborhood. It's like two neighborhoods away. Yeah, right. Um, so uh, decided to come back. Um, we are drinking uh, the uh, our usual tall no foam caramel lattes, um, and, and that drink's going all the way back to when we were uh, going to Starbucks back in college. That was always our dream, too. Mm-hmm. So I'm um, uh, very boring today. Uh, but it's all right because it's uh, old, reliable. Yeah. And, uh, it's Starbucks, exactly. old, reliable Starbucks. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. I know I will always like it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's a big deal. Katie knows she'll always like it, so we're not wasting money on stuff that Katie might not like. Kind of like the coffee shop last week with the... Uh, with the subpar ice cream sandwich and the coffee the, studio right and the so-so uh yeah it says i was at a play family friend of old was in a play and i had to go see him acting crackers in room service nice and hi guys thanks <laughs> hey. david well good if it was for a play we understand right. go to the a- saturday performance next time though will you Katie's a theater regular, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. She uh, she does a lot of shows in the off time. Anyways, moving on. We're here at Starbucks. We got our drinks, old reliable. Yep. Um, so uh, what's cool about this place is it was just a 10-minute walk from our old apartment, um, which is why it was our usual one. Not bad at all. Yep. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. About a 10-minute walk. Uh, so the location is good. Um, now it's not as great because we we could take a bus to get here, but then there'd also be a lot of walking as well, and it's just too cold. And we got that. two Starbucks within ten minutes of right. of us now. So church on Saturdays. Uh, well, right, okay, okay. Well, we'll figure this out. You do what you can do, then, David. Um, so yeah, we're old. At, we're here at the old one. 
Um, it's a, a Starbucks Reserve, if you guys don't know what a Starbucks Reserve is. It's a place that serves a it specialty. It charges more for coffee. Right. And it's a, it's a place that serves, that serves specialty reserve um, coffee blends that you can't find at any other Starbucks. So. Hey, Al. Al. Thanks for joining us. How's it going? Um, so, uh, so that's why we're here. Al, you're just joining us. We're here at our old coffee place, our old Starbucks that we used to go to. Um, so that's what we're doing. Anyways, this is where we are. I think uh, we've all, we, we always give Starbucks a 10 um, because we like the stuff. And uh, you know what? They did a great job today with giving us they no did, foam. They did, like no foam. Right. Perfect. So uh, they did good today. So. Uh, and this place also is bigger than a lot of Starbucks. Yep. Uh, there's more room to sit. Yeah. I still like to get in little fights, well, imaginary fights with people. <laughs> I get really feisty and riled up, ready to fight anyone, and then it's a major letdown that I don't have to yell at someone for taking our table. I didn't have to fight anyone today. Didn't have to fight I didn't anyone. even have to get excited to fight anyone today. Got to block that. Got to block that one. There you go. Block yeah. that one. Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, so that's where we're at. We've set the setting. Let's move on. So to ambiance. We have to go through all of our. All right. Judging. All right. So. Location, ambiance, the loca it's loud. The, the location is still good because um, there's a lot of street parking nearby, so you're not going to park far away from the place. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like a trendy, um, it's a trendy neighborhood, I wouldn't say that. Uh, Very hipster. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of like a hippie, um, er, like, what am I trying to say, young family. So, like you're gonna enjoy it if you're either like a hippie or if you're like a young family with a couple of small children like you Al yeah. and Ben you uh, when you guys were in Chicago we went we went around this neighborhood I think you guys enjoyed it so yeah it's a it's for it's for hippies and young families yeah. uh, <laughs> um, no location is great which are the people. same thing now yeah. hippies are having babies yeah. It's alarming. You keep moving away. All right. <laughs> so um, ambiance is okay. It's a little loud in here, which, as we know, I dislike. Um, there's a guy here who who has worked here since we started coming here six and a half years ago, and he starts cleaning up early, like always early. The place closes at ten. I'm guessing by nine we'll see him mopping. He's the guy that I would always want to work with, though, because he's always cleaning. So he's the guy that doesn't mind the clean. And he's going to get it done early, so nobody's, you know, staying a half hour to 45 minutes once the door closed to clean up. You're probably in and out right when, yeah. uh, right when you're done. So he, he'd probably be my type of co-worker. You want to work with him, yes. But yeah. I want to relax when I'm drinking my coffee and not worry about the mop as, landing on my boots. Yeah, as a... Uh, which it as will a, do. Right, as a guest, um, it can get a little distracting. But, I mean, hey, he, but other he than that, us, he's he a really gave, nice he guy. He gave us a bunch of free food that one time. He right? did, he's yeah. Like, hey, he's like, well, we either have to give this away or throw it away. He's like, so do you guys want all this stuff? Or yeah, because like Starbucks does and, fresh and, like, food. They have to stuff, so, give yeah. everything away at the end of the night. And yes. We were in the right place at the right time. Yeah, so he's a really cool dude. Yeah. Anyway. Other than the mopping. It's yeah. really the mopping but, that um, bothers me. So yeah, it's a little loud for Katie. For me, I don't mind it too much. Um, again, the coffee's good, so I would give it I would give it a ten for location because there's a yep. lot of parking nearby that you don't have to pay for, mm -hmm. and a lot of other things to do in the area. And um, so I'd give it a ten. What would you give it? I'd give it give it an eight because um, there is street parking, but a lot of people in Chicago don't have cars, but it's not that far from a bus stop, so. It's okay. okay. Not bad. Um, across the board, though, all together, I'd give it. I'd give it an eight. You give it an eight. I'd give it a. I mean, it's really for me. It's all about the coffee. If the coffee's good, um, I'll keep coming back, and I like it. So I think a ten for the coffee kind of carries it across yeah. the boards for me. Because again, it's Starbucks. I mean, it's your it's your basic cup of coffee from Starbucks. But again. All reliable. Um, you always know what you're getting, and for me, I'm always satisfied with it. And they do a good job with giving you not a lot of foam, so yeah. 
um, that with the location that I like, and uh, I like the atmosphere. So, and I like the fact that it's a reserve, so you can get a couple of uh, different types of brews if you uh, like here. So I'm gonna give it a ten. So between Katie and me, it's about give it a nine. nine. Give yeah. it a nine. So. Uh, so, I think that's not too bad. No, check it out. It's on. It's on the uh, corner of Lincoln and Wilson. Lincoln and Wilson, Chicago's yeah. north side. Um, the area code is something like 606, 6065 something. Uh, 60652. Doesn't doesn't matter. Lincoln and Wilson. But Check it out. Anyways, yeah. um, moving on with the show. Uh, Super Bowl was this weekend. Uh, yes. We had a great time watching it uh, at my at my childhood at my childhood home in uh, Kakana with my family. It's what we do every year, so we had another great time just hanging out and watching some football. There were Patriots lost. Eleven guys. people. There were eleven people in the living room for a Patriots loss. There were eleven people in the living room. My living room at my parents' place. The living room at my parents' place. It's a normal that, living room. I mean, hey, we make it work. But uh, 11 people... Keith you know, and I sit on the floor because we're the youngest adults. Right. So kind, of, I, yeah. kind of still the thing. Like, we're still the young ones, so we're like, we're still the kids. Yeah. So we uh, so we sit on the floor. I was able to sit on a chair for... The, for you did get a chair. I, yeah. I, I did get a chair. Katie yeah. sat on the floor. I sat anyway. on the floor. <laughs> um, but it was a great time. Patriots lost. They lost. Um, it was, a, it was a heck of a game. Not a lot of defense, but a lot of drives down the field. I think only one punt all game. Uh, so uh, so I, I had a great time watching it. I think it was a great game. But Katie was the only one to predict an Eagles win last week between yeah. me, my brother, my dad. Katie, she's the only one that picked an Eagles victory, and she was pretty damn close. I was close. close on the, oh, the score and the spread. What did you say? What would you say? I said it was going to be 37-35 Philadelphia. You said? 28-24. Uh, 28-24. Uh, uh, Patriots. I Patriots. Thought. Final was 31-33. Uh, no. It wasn't, that, it wasn't that at all. It was um. It was forty-one something. It's forty-one thirty-three. Forty-one thirty-three. Oh, 41, I think 30. I guess thirty-seven to thirty-five. Thirty-seven thirty-five. And what it was forty-one to thirty-three. I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna check it just he's to make sure. He's gonna yeah. be on his phone in the middle of our show. How rude! This is it's, two, awesome. it's 2018. What do you expect? <laughs> all right, let's see. Keep talking to the people while I'm doing this. Okay, I'm talking to the people. <laughs> so, what should I tell you? I got nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, exciting news! I'm gonna do my voice demo on Friday, voiceover. Um, I just started to get into the voiceover industry, I guess you could say. So, Friday, I get to go to the studio and make my demo. I'm really excited about it because, uh, as an actor, 4133. Forty-one thirty-three, which is what I said. Mm-hmm. Um, as an actor, you have you have to audition in person. You could be having a bad day. Your train could be late. You could have a bad hair day. All these things are awful. For voiceover, you send in your demo, so it's always your best work every single time. I'm so excited about that. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna do that Puppies Friday. I don't understand the question, David. Oh, oh I, I think he's trying to help me fill in the silence void. Oh, uh, kittens, kittens, of course. We, got we have Mr. Fuzzy Face. Face. Cat. Are you kidding me, David? Oh, that's amazing news. You even How watch exciting, this Katie. show? Good luck. Thanks, Al. Thanks, Appreciate Al. it. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's really cool for Katie. Um, yeah. Uh, she actually, she's actually pretty good at different dialects and everything like that. So, we'll see how it goes for her. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Katie, uh, Katie had a uh, had a good weekend with the uh, with the Eagles winning the Super Bowl, and she predicted yeah. it. So, and a, a backup job. quarterback winning it that was awesome. Good, good for Nick Foles. Cool. Yeah, I was rooting for the Patriots to be honest. I uh, I don't care about the Eagles, and I mean I really don't care about the Patriots either. Either I just thought it would be a little more interesting to see how far the Patriots could bring it. Because, and I'm just going to go off on one quick little tangent. No, everybody dislikes the Patriots because they're good all the time. I'm trying to appreciate how good they are because you you have like always a team of the decade, you know, 
the '60s it was the Packers, the '70s it was the it was the Steelers, the '80s it was like the Mayors. It was like no the, Mayors. It was like the, four, the '80s was like the 49ers and like kind of into the early '90s, and then the Cowboys. Um, but since but since the Patriots won the Super Bowl uh, the first time in 2001, I think it was. They've been the best team in the NFL, arguably, for basically two decades. They're like, just two decades of pure dominance. Um, I, I, I want to try to appreciate that rather than just be upset at them for, uh, for winning all the time. So I try to appreciate it more than thinking I'd bring in another team. So um, I was kind of rooting for the Patriots, but hey. I get I mean, that. It was a great game. So. I'd, I'd like them to do as much as they can because the end is near. Someday they will lose Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, yep. and they're gonna go through a rough patch like everybody. Oh yeah, they'll just so, be, they'll be a very we're gonna enjoy average that team when I have sooner it. rather than later. Anyways, um, I think we're on to uh, the show that everybody seems to enjoy, and that is NFL or NBA. Or humiliate Katie! Yay! Yay! Um, I have the names right, but I have to look. I have to look at the names that I picked out oh because I didn't remember them. This uh, guy, honestly. You, you, you do homework and you have to look at all the names all the time. I know what names that I want. I just have to look at them. I'm trying to block your phone and the light because you, you keep moving away. Come Kyle, here. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. I've heard the name, so he must be NFL. Kyle Lowry is an NBA player. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Oh, for one. Oh, no. Number two, Mike Connolly. Mike Connolly? Yeah, Mike Connolly. NFL. Wrong. What? NBA. What? Right. I think you're cheating. I think you're just making things up now. And what's the name of the Steelers coach? Mike Tomlin. Yes. Not the same person. No, it's the one that looks like Omar Epps. Right. Yeah. Tomlin. Tomlin and Conley. Yeah. Not the same person not the same and not person. related? Not the same person. I doubt they're related because their names are in no way similar. Okay. Um, so I'll take that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last one. Damian Lillard. What? Damian Lillard. Lillard? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say NFL. i got to stick with it. NBA. Went all three NBA. All list. three NBA just to trick, trick me up. Just to trip you up. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, when I go two NBAs in a row, am I really tripping you up if I go a third in a row? Yes. I don't think I am. So. Negative 20. What did he do with it? He's negative 20. Oh, these are, it's just the, uh, it's just the thing grading players, how they think they progress throughout the year. Anyways. Um, Kyle Lowry went down 20. Katie's. Oh, whatever that means. Oh, for three. Today. Rough day. But I predicted the Eagles winning, so. Good job, Katie. I'm the, the overall bigger winner. And congrats You to have won the battle, but I, I will, will win, win the, the next battle. battle. Name that show. Do it. Name Right it. now. You have about 10 seconds before we Nine, end the show. <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight. Wrong. Wrong. It was said by Andrew Bernard in The Office. To Dwight Troop. To Dwight Troop. Very good. Won the battle, but I will win the, the next, the next battle. battle. Anyway. All right, should we wrap this up so people can get up. back to their Tuesday night? This has been Coffee with Keith. And Katie on Public House Media. Thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great week, and we will see you again on Friday at 8.30. Take care. Bye.